10 years ago, the game we know as Medieval 2 Total War was uh, released. The game itself aged pretty well, even better than she was supposed to do so, uh, I guess. And uh, right now I got the pleasure to uh, make a commentary battle for Medieval 2 Total War uh, Britannia Kingdoms modification. Obviously, if you obviously you know that Kingdoms is a pack of DLC, DLCs basically, and the first and the last one for Medieval 2. Uh, it's, it's kind of similar to Barbarian Invasion Expansion for uh, Rome 1, but uh, I think the Kingdoms is actually uh, the larger one. Anyway. Uh, it, it's bigger one in terms of gameplay units and other stuff. Uh, so let me put uh, this music on and uh, well, all right. So Sir the Great here proudly presenting you next commentary battle. Uh, we got two v two where we are matching matching up against uh, France and Milan. Milan is in the Church of Subutai. Uh, France is commanded by Sweet and uh, Sylvain is my ally. Uh, I'm commanding the Baron's Alliance. So this battle is pretty old. Uh, don't judge players over here playing in by skill. Uh, a lot of stuff changed since this battle. The rules were eight free cavalry, fifteen k each player. Uh, no gun, LR I guess, and uh, basically what, what we were trying to set up with Sloveni, uh, we were trying to set up an ambush uh, in this in this forest, but it didn't work out, uh, so we decided to aggressively push forward because that's what, uh, what usually works in our team battles. Let's go uh, quickly through armies without uh, too much details. Uh, I got four units of English Knights, General's Bodyguard, a uh, bunch of uh, Demi Lancers, Heavy Billmen and uh, some Longbowmen. Uh, Slovenia's got Ireland, Irish Forces, uh, a few Gallic Archers, just as Mid Shields, uh, Horse Boys, Great Javelin Mine and pretty cost effective actually. Uh, they look really funny with this armor upgrade, I guess. Uh, then we've got some Ulster Swordsmen, Lords Retinue and uh, Alster uh, Daisy Javelinman, that's what I wanted to say. The friends were pretty shit army. Uh, uh, attending to make an experiment with this brief bringing lancers, even if they look great, they are shit compared to noble knights or even this medium tier cavalry. They are not cost effective and they have no shields. So remember, never, never bring lancers unless it's mod such as, I don't know, stainless steel, balloon cruises, where they, they are possibly fixed. In Kingdoms and in Medieval 2 base game, they just sucks. For more uh, info about uh, uh, crap units, check out my top 10 worst units video. Anyway, uh, as you may know already uh, or not, uh, the clan DS era, one of the biggest uh, clan nowadays and uh, important wi which plays important role in the community is hosting uh, anniversary medieval total or 10th anniversary uh, more details are in the links below there's tourney for uh, new players if you want to come and uh, there will be bunch of scenarios uh, some other events i'm not actually aware of and uh, that's gonna be pretty huge event i would say so just make sure to check out the description Considering that nobody reads the description, I, I gotta say that twice. Anyway, uh, let me put triple speed on and hope this awful vanilla music will end. No, it's not awful, but you know what I mean. I prefer to hear uh, Kingdom's uh, music, uh, Britannia and uh, Teutonic ones are pretty similar, I would say. Uh, Suputa is gonna get good church on this poor Gallic archers, and this wasn't exactly uh, the best idea to start off this battle as uh, on our side. But uh, I think I could easily uh, make a revenge by using these freaking lancers and got some extra keys on this expensive Genos crossbowmen, which are, uh, which are kind of the best unit, uh, best missile unit uh, the Milan can field. So it worked pretty, pretty good. It created uh, some uh, kind of chaos over here. 
Uh, but let's take a look what Sloven is doing over here. Uh, initial charge went all right, I guess. But these guys are shaken, so they need to get hell out of here and use this massive force consisting of Galoglage. Will the church let me? Will the church let me see the church of Galoglage, guys? Please. Oh, there we go. That was sweet. Keep always keep in mind when you see 200 units. They love fighting heavy cavalry. Even if heavy cavalry will beat them eventually in the church, uh, in the expansions cavalry is, is pretty much weaker. I would say that expansions are much more balanced than in vanilla is. In vanilla cavalry is kind of OP. Uh, you cannot you cannot beat cavalry without your own cavalry or pack spam, which doesn't work well same as in Rome one do. Uh, because in Rome 1 pikes works as they supposed to do, while in medieval they are, you know, pretty choppy, pretty sluggish, uh, not necessarily tricky to use, I would say that they are just uh, kind of broken, yeah, let's let's use this word, they are kind of broken. So but I is trying to uh, repeat the same thing for me, but my uh, English knights are about to stop his, stop this attempt, and uh, Actually, let's take a look at Milan's army compositions. Bunch of Milan Knights, Men at Arms, uh, Dismounted Fidel Knights, uh, three Italian Spear Militia with this nice shield room. I'm not a big fan of static formation, but uh, you know, only half, only half of the enemy force remains. That's what I wanted to say exactly. And beautiful mess, beautiful madness over here. France is getting absolutely butchered, so when he's doing a great job. Uh, getting rid of these poor sweet forces over here, even if he's desperately trying to get some extra kills on these exposed Gallic archers, it doesn't gonna pay out. Bringing these archers was crap idea, I would say. Uh, and now I got questions for all subscribers I don't personally know, and pretty much all subscribers anyway, and the rest of them. Uh, guys, let me know uh, what would you like to see in the commentary. I mean, not not necessarily death of the generals. Like, uh, where should I focus uh, focus on, on? On maybe should I focus on tricks, clan tricks, or how to win the battle, how to kill the general? Focus on army compositions. I don't know. Just please let me know because, as I as I said already, I repeated once more. I'm not doing YouTube for for myself. I prefer playing instead of uh, commentating. Uh, because I don't have to talk so much and uh, playing is much easier for me even uh, and actually I want to make my commentaries better I know that your my English is pissing some of you off but I'm working on it and results and hopefully results will be audible in the the few weeks when I finish some courses which I'm currently studying uh, I just want to make a better commentary so please let me know in the comments uh, in the mail or through the steam or through any way you want to to do so just let me know what should i change where should i point my finger at i don't know my, maybe you want to see some uh, ca more casual commentaries with uh, big blobs of infantry like over here uh, i guess that camera that camera isn't isn't really good right now but uh, i i was too lazy to change change it to my commentary mode right now i'm using my competitive uh, config anyway uh, we got unit in uh, we got unit on my back a uh, man of the arms trying to get rid of my yaman archers but yaman archers have uh, they use so-called borotkin arrow i guess that's how it's called and what does it mean for you it's simple it means armor piercing and as a secondary weapon in vanilla and base game they got this blunts i believe they are blunts and these blunts are armor piercing as well so uh, that's kind of useful info. Uh, so far, I'm aware of that only French and uh, only French and English archers in vanilla have armor piercing. I don't know how it works in expansions because I didn't play it expansions. I didn't really uh, study it in same way as I did in vanilla. And uh, I love expansions because they are more balanced. They they look beautiful. They look beautiful, in my opinion. And the 200 units finally works almost, almost correctly. Almost is crucial key here. My brave uh, dismounted billmen and dismounted English knights finally getting shrieked over here, getting surrounded. Look how many units Milan uh, had to 
pull off to surround these two units of uh, English forces. But Slovenia is here to help and uh, the game is pretty over right now. It's over pretty over right now. Slovenia managed to punch his uh, own, to punch his own enemy uh, friends without uh, suffering much casualties and uh, army of friends is collapsing. I would say that it doesn't exist anymore uh, except a bunch of aventurias and is supported by this culture standard. My general died in the process of uh, defending his own country uh, which is pretty great and look at the carnage it's it's pretty huge uh, actually the the unit scale was on uh, huge scale no sorry the unit scale was on large it was seven large uh, a lot of damage has been done by archers that's that's kind of uh, surprise factor i mean there's nothing better to see than this good old game which uh, as again aged pretty well and it's for me it's just masterpiece i know it has many thefts but well, it's certainly better than uh, this shit that uh, Creative Assembly produced recently, such, a, such as Room 2, where engine has no physics except for missiles and the cavalry church looks so damn empty. I know that they may look better, but I prefer this kind of more realistic, realistic way the medieval two represents. And uh, well... I, w I won't lie, I, I, I'm not the kind of person who likes to jerk off to, to, to old games and be pessimistic uh, to... Whoa, that was beautiful. To new ones, nope. But uh, I like to see how games evolve in the time. And I'm not gonna spend my freaking money uh, on bullshit. And actually, sorry for that bullshit I uploaded recently this tutorial. I promise I will never upload this crap again, I just wanted to uh, fill out empty space. Uh, let's go back to this uh, talk. In, in my opinion, uh, the game, the game can be bad, can be, can be good, uh, but it's, it's pretty much all depends on the community and creators. So when I play Medieval 2, when I play Rome 1, I feel that uh, the maker of these games, the authors of this whole concepts, engines, uh, graphics, sounds, music and stuff like that, they, they cared about customer and I have respect for them. I spend my money, all my... I, I, I buy Lego like, copies uh, of Total War, I don't torrent, I don't, I don't know, crack, uh, but when I see that they kinda, they kinda waste their potential on making shit games with shitty engines, without good music then it just pissed me off and that's why that's why i loved medieval 2 that's why i loved Ram, rom 1 uh, i'm 17 years old i'm not 30 i'm not i'm not 40 i'm not old yet uh, but i would say that these games were with me from my childhood i guess that uh, i first time i met total war was when i was like six years old and my brother was playing uh, Julia campaigned in the Rome 1 and, was, uh, and he had to go out uh, for a few minutes and he gave me order to um, defend the city and I enjoyed uh, killing these pesky barbarians uh, you know it, it may kind of sound empty right now but uh, I guess that first initial emotions are the most important ones uh, I tried to find the game similar to to my favorite ones, uh, but I, I was unable to do so. So I'm just stick with it. I hope you guys like it. And once again, thank you for supporting me over this one year. I'm on YouTube. Uh, once again, please uh, share your thoughts with me. Let me know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong. As as I will repeat once more that uh, I'm working on my English to polish my English. <laughs> That's not so funny joke anyway. Uh, but what can I do uh, further to uh, make this make this commentaries uh, simply better. Victory is ours. Exactly. So thanks guys again. Uh, make sure to check this uh, links. Uh, check in the link to the anniversary group event on the Steam. Let's quickly take a look at kills. A pretty even battle actually. Uh, so when you got huge army, but he lost almost all of it. Uh, I got. 
pretty nice kills, not bad at all. Best unit was... Uh, looks like Yaman Archer, 74 kills. No, sorry, this one actually shines 81. That's great. Anyway, uh, have a nice day, guys. And Agenda's Anniversary, see you in the next commentary. If you haven't subscribed already, uh, make sure to do it now. It will be, it will be cool. And uh, leave a comment, uh, like, and that's it. See you. Take care, guys. Sarah's a great sign out.